So was it tough growing up in Oakland, especially the things you see every day? Yeah, I mean, after a while you get used to it. Yeah. Like you just, you see it so much. Like I've seen, I've seen a dude get shot in his car and the car just drove off and started hitting other cars. Yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of stuff, you know, and it's crazy. Like I said, you know, I got a gun pulled out on me, you know, somebody came to our house, you know, pulled a gun out on us at the home, you know, <clears throat> and it's weird because you never got scared. Yeah. Because you got, you got so used to it. Yeah, it's, it happens every day. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it was a weird thing, like, you know, you know it's dangerous. Yeah. But then it's so normal. Like you, it's every day that's happening. Every day, you know, people are getting, you know, doing drugs in the corner, you know, pimping, mm -hmm. you know, prostitution, all over the up and down East 14, you know, mm -hmm. and it was a normal thing. Yeah, you know, kids riding around. You know, I knew I knew a few kids who was, who was selling, you know, who was selling drugs. Mm -hmm. 14 yeah 15 you know and it's it was it was pretty normal like i just you know after a while it's just like it's open yeah it's open yeah it's open that's the town mm -hmm. you know and that was the mentality that i had after that it's just yeah so you know um you know usually you know that you know that old saying you know you're a product of your environment mm -hmm. right so you know if you grow up in that type of environment you're more likely to fall into those type of activities. Yeah. So uh, I know you now, like, you know, you're pretty, you know, you have a job and you're pretty good for yourself. You know, life is pretty, uh, it's pretty good for you. Um, what do you think that, why, you know, what do you, what, do you, what is the reason why you need to fall into those activities? You know, because you see, I'm sure you know a lot of friends that, you know, their environment dictated who they become and you just fell into all of those things, right? So like, yeah. what was different about you that, that you were that you were able to be able just to like stay away from that and still be able to build the life that you have now. Well, I think a lot of it had to do with me going back to the Highlands. Yeah, I, I went back to Hawaii. Um, and my brother, I stayed with my brother there. You know, and the environment there was different. Mm -hmm. You know, there was they were a lot stricter on uh, you know curfew. Oh. You know, so that foundation from the chores, Highlands kind of carried over stuff like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, we still got whoopings because we didn't listen, but, yeah. you know, moving back. I think after my freshman year in high school uh, out here, I moved back and finished school out there. I, I mean, I didn't finish school. I ended up going to get my GED. I got it, but, yeah. you know, I, I ended up getting my GED. And then, um, you know, if you, and the teaching that I got there is if you don't work, you don't eat. Yeah. You know, so you had to go to work. You have to go, you know, make money. Yeah. If you don't make money, you don't get what you want. Mm -hmm. So, you know, going back to the islands kind of like helped, kind of helped grounded me, and having that father figure again. You know, I was telling you my brother, you know, but it was already later. Yeah. You know, from like, you know, being out here and experiencing all of that, and not caring. You know, so when I went back there, you know. Somebody actually cared, you know, somebody else actually teaching me how to be a man, you know, being, you know, doing the right thing, what you got to do to provide for your family. You know, I see my brother wake up every morning, go to work, come home, you know, still doing stuff around the house, you know, still making sure that the home is, is you know, is provided for and is protected, you know, and that's, and that, that grounded me again. That made me like think like oh, so this is how you do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like, my, like that kept me grounded. You know, my brother being, you know, the father figure and stepping in. You know, seeing that we wasn't doing right out here. Mm -hmm. Seeing that we were just running the mock and like this. Walling out out yeah. here to be honest, you feel like that if you <clears throat> you feel like that if you didn't go back uh, the second time back to the islands, you feel like you probably would have yeah, become a product of the virus. Yeah. If not, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here to be yeah. honest. If I was still doing the stuff I was doing, was there a point of time like you almost like almost got into it like? 
Like yeah. I said, I mean, yeah. I got a gun pointed yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to say who it was. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I know the person. Yeah. But. <clears throat> it's not thinking, I mean, about, it's not thinking about it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, all of that happened in the past. Yeah. Like, I don't hold any of that. Yeah. You know, I don't hold any grudges anymore on, uh, on what happened, you know, what happened, happened. But, like, you know, like I said, if I wasn't, you know, if I didn't move back to the islands, I don't think. Yeah. You know. The environment would have been yeah. a product of it. Right? Yeah, yeah, I would have been a product of the environment. Exactly.